Hello and welcome to another episode of Deep Dive uh, on NewsX with me, Uday Pratap Singh. As you can see, these are all the park flights in Terminal 3 in Delhi. You can see Air India, Indigo, Air Asia, all standing parked at the terminal. The aircrafts here are Airbus or others and are manufactured by the United States or France. Recent orders that have been placed by International Airlines Group that ordered 53 long-haul aircrafts, which include 32 Boeing, 787-10 and 21 Airbuses in May 2025. Prices suggest values of up to $17 billion. Well, at the Paris Air Show 2025, many deals were announced. For example, Avilis placed a firm order for 10 A350F firefighters and 30 family aircrafts with options for more in June 2025. The list price value of those aircraft deals was estimated at $12 billion US dollars. If large airlines are spending tens of billions of dollars on new aircrafts every year, imagine what it would mean if even a fraction of that went to an Indian manufacturer instead of foreign giants. A homegrown production ecosystem, which is led by companies like Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, could keep billions within the Indian economy, create thousands of skilled jobs and position India as a serious player in global aviation manufacturing. The MOU between HAL and UAC is more than a factory deal. It signals strategic alignment between India and Russia and civil aviation. HAL and UAC have signed the MOU in Moscow with Indian and Russian officials present. By entering into this agreement, India is not just importing jets, it is building them. Domestically, and Russia leverages its aircraft program to deepen ties and find new markets. The result is a win-win. India gets manufacturing capacity, Russia gets scale. The agreement was signed in Moscow on Monday. This aims to reshape the aviation landscape. This is also a major boost for Make in India. We zero in on the deal between Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and the United Aircraft Corporation and explore the aircraft at the heart of this, the SJ-100. So what exactly is the SJ-100? What originally launched as the Sukhoi Superjet 100, it was developed by Russian aerospace firms and certified for commercial operations in 2011. The key specifications of the aircraft is that its seats, the seats of it can accommodate up to around 103 passengers. The SJ-100 can comfortably cover most domestic routes within India, like Delhi to Chennai or Mumbai to Kolkata, and even short international hops to destinations such as Dubai or Colombo without refueling. Its range is 3,500 to 4,500 kilometers. The aircraft has the maximum weight the aircraft can safely carry, which is about 49,450 kilograms, including passengers, cargo, as well as fuel, allowing it to operate efficiently even from smaller regional airports with shorter runways. It's equipped with cutting-edge technology, a full fly-by-wire control system for smoother handling, advanced digital avionics for safer and more efficient flights, and a spacious cabin design that offers passengers greater comfort on shorter routes. In short, the SJ-100 is a twin-engine, narrow-body aircraft that has already proven its performance across global markets. So far, over 200 aircrafts have been produced and are being operated by more than 16 commercial airline operators worldwide. The aircraft is currently operated in Russia by several carriers, for example, Rossiya Airlines, Azimuth Airlines, etc. Outside Russia, there have been operators in countries such as Laos via Laos Central and Mexico via Interjet. A 2014 report noted the jet was now operated by five Russian carriers, as well as by three foreign carriers, which include Mexico, Indonesia, as well as Laos. The agreement between HAL and UAC comes amidst a backdrop of export controls and sanctions designed to curb Russia's access to aerospace technology meaning India's deal is as much geopolitical as it is industrial. While India pursues the dream of a made-in-India civil aircraft, the deal also exposes it to the complex terrain of sanctions compliance, supply chain risk and diplomatic balancing. When compared to aviation giants like Boeing and Airbus, the SJ-100 and India's ambitions with it are still at a very early stage. Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus's A320neo families carry nearly twice as many passengers, fly much further and are backed by decades of global trust as well as supply chain strength. The SJ-100, meanwhile, serves regional routes and operates in only a few countries. So while India's collaboration with Russia marks progress, we're still some distance away from matching the scale, efficiency as well as technological sophistication of Boeing or Airbus. To truly build a made-in-India aircraft from the ground up, the country needs more than just assembly lines. It needs deep technological capac uh, capability, that means developing a jet engine designed and manufactured in India, rather than relying on foreign supplies. It also means investing in aerospace-grade materials, avionic systems, testing, infrastructure, as well as certification, 
know-how that meets international aviation standards. Most importantly, India needs a robust ecosystem of component skillers, suppliers, skilled engineers, as well as long-term R&D funding, the kind that sustains aircraft programs for decades. Without these, India can assemble planes but not yet design them independently. But for India to truly dream of building its own jet from scratch, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will have to lead the way. A vision strongly backed by the BJP government under Prime Minister Modi's Atmanirbhar Bharat push, HAL has transformed from a defence manufacturer into a symbol of India's self-reliance in, in aviation. And now, the SJ-100 project is taking shape and leaps into civilian skies. Well, HAL's revenue has nearly doubled over the past decade, crossing 30,000 crore rupees in financial year 2024. The company has seen record order books, including deals for LCA Tejas, advanced light helicopters, and now civil aircraft production with Russia's UAC. Major emphasis on self-reliance in defense and aerospace under Atmanir Bharat has positioned HAL as a strategic pillar. The government pushed HAL into civil aviation manufacturing, the SJ-100 deal being a major milestone. Why manufacture the SJ-100 in India rather than just import it? Well, there are several reasons. Manufacturing the SJ-100 in India isn't just about pride, it's about economics. By building the aircraft domestically, India can drastically cut down on import bills, strengthen its own supply chain and generate thousands of skilled jobs across the aviation sector. The timing couldn't have been better. Over the next decade, India is projected to need more than 200 regional jets for domestic routes and another 350 for short international sectors like Colombo or Dubai. The SJ-100, with its mid-range capacity and fuel efficiency, fits that demand perfectly. Finally, there's the bigger picture. Sovereignty. Producing aircrafts within India gives the country greater control over technology, maintenance as well as production. HAL calls this partnership with Russia the beginning of a new chapter in Indian civil aviation, one that moves India closer to self-reliance in the skies. Ultimately, this collaboration between HAL and Russia's UAC isn't just about a jet. It's about India taking flight forward towards full-scale civilian aircraft manufacturing. And if all goes right, the next plane connecting India's smaller cities may proudly carry a label that reads, Made in India. Dr. Vandana Singh, aviation expert, joins us for more on this story. Dr. Vandana Singh, how crucial and strategic is this New Deal signed? Thank you, uh, Uday, for having me on your show. First of all, uh, this is excellent news that we are seeing. India is, of course, rising global power. Uh, we are big in, uh, we are open to business, we are soaring and uh, soaring to go. So if I look at it, I say that this is excellent. Uh, HAL is the right choice, signing up with uh, Russian collaboration. I think it's going to be great for everybody. We are going in tandem with the Uran scheme, which has just been extended. Apart from all that you have just mentioned, it is also going with extension of 10 years of the Uran scheme, where uh, the regional connectivity is going to increase. We are manufacturing our own. That goes in tandem with the Make in India, uh, Atmanirbhar Bharat, our vision towards Viksit Bharat. This is exactly what we want to show, self-reliance. And it is also boosting economic growth. It is also going to bring up uh, job opportunities. We are going to have a technology transfer. What is the message that India is giving here? India is giving here the message that it's ready to soar. It's open to global cooperation. It's open to global partnerships, to collaboration, to technology transfer, and that India can do things on its own and it's doing it. So uh, just to add to what you just said, I, I think it's the way to go and it sends a very strong message to the world. At the time when there is a lot of uh, geopolitical uh, tension globally, there are huge trade deals which are stuck, which are at certain percentages, certain countries, arm twisting other countries. I won't name them, you know it, we all know it. But at that time when we are coming up with a bold announcement like this, I think it is absolutely a welcome news and I'm sure that we are going to deliver here or there. What all can uh, India okay. hope to uh, gain and HAL hope to gain through this partnership? Uh, can you repeat your question? What all can HAL and India hope to gain from this partnership? HAL uh, is a brand in itself. Now, we have seen how many orders it has got. 
we have also seen that already uh, this SJ100 equipment, swivel in equipment is already fl flying in 16 odd, uh, you know, uh, routes in 16 odd countries like you just mentioned. Uh, I think uh, what HAL has to gain, gain it, is, it, is, it is a brand, it is gaining popularity, it is having its own uh, aeronautics, it is having its own brain cell, uh, brain center technology. Uh, it's, it's gaining name in the world that every other country, even countries like Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, various Southeast Asian countries, various uh, African countries, as you mentioned, Laos and all, everybody is looking at it, including South America, Latin America, Mexico, all of that are looking at us. So HAL is everything to gain in terms of reputation. Now comes uh, the, the real thing is walking the talk. So I am sure they are going to deliver as per what is, uh, you know, expected of them, that the timelines will be maintained. And that, yes, for short haul flights and for additional of those 200 inbound jets that are of, as per the demand forecast and another 350 uh, upcoming for nearby countries, as we spoke about. I think HAL is everything to gain and more and more and more orders will come this way. I think it's it's excellent uh, uh, towards Make in India, Vixit Bharat and moving forward for us as a global superpower now, I would say, as an Asian giant yes. moving forward. Dr. Vandana Singh, thank you for joining thank us you with much. your perspective. Let's slip into a short break on that note.